Hello everybody and welcome to the weekly message. Today is the 26th of May 2024. I'm Rakefa Tarya Beckham, I'm a spiritual leader and we are here every Sunday with the weekly message and I want to start by telling you thank you, thank you so much for sharing the message. There are over 100 people every, every um, week that register to the weekly message and it's because of you sharing. So please keep on sharing the message. It's, it's really amazing because this is why we're doing it. The message needs to reach to as many people as possible. So thank you for sharing. That that's the first thing. Now, last week we had an opening to channeling, connecting to a spiritual workshop, and it was an amazing workshop. I gave you so many tools, and I, I hear the response from people being in the workshop telling me that they loved it, and they finally noticed so many um, um, uh, signs that their angels are sending them, and they didn't know, they weren't aware, they were missing them. So this is why I'm doing this workshop again next week on the 3rd of June, and you can join now only for $18. You have the link here. You can register through the link and one more very important thing this week I'm celebrating 40 I'm very excited and I was actually going through a growth leap the past six months that the angels took me through uh, it was difficult I have to say but it was necessary and there are times in life that we're going through that leap and we just have to jump we just have to go through that challenge that we are in and we don't have the tools to. So luckily the angels gave me tools, they gave me uh, questionnaires, they gave me meditations and I've done them and now I'm going to do it with you together because we are now in a quantum leap up. Uh, all, all humanity really. So we're going to do a challenge together for five days in a closed Facebook group. You're going to have um, meditations, you're going to have questionnaires, you're going to have videos so you can understand the phase that we are now in and we're going to take the old version of us, of you, and go through the new uh, upgraded version. So five days, it starts on the 16th of June and I'm waiting to see you there. You have the link here, you have to register and I'm gonna see you there. So I'm very excited to start. Now let's go and hear our weekly message. Okay, now I'm in high energy now. <laughs> I need to calm down to receive the message. Okay, let's do it. I hear them saying hello, but it's four different energies. I hear hello, 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 hello. Okay. I, Rekefet, demand to receive the message from a high and reliable source in a way that is not ambiguous to me and to everyone that will watch the message now in the future. And that the message will work for our highest benefit. Thank you. Hello. We are the people who invented the letters, the words that combined letters together into one word. You hear us talking together, but there are a lot of us here because each one of us have invented a different language. You know only one that have invented the Hebrew language. Well, we are a lot more because there are a lot more languages in this world. We are here to tell you, to explain that each language, well, we did not 
invent it. We have received it as a message. We have understand that we need to write it down to combine dots, circles, squares, and create something that later on were called letters. Each of those geometrical figures had a meaning. At the beginning, when we received those pictures that we have seen, because we have seen them as pictures, we did not know what is the meaning of each picture. We just draw it down and then add them together to words. Again, words were not our idea, but was something that we channeled, we received. People around us thought we invented it. We decided. But no, that's not it. We are here now to talk to you, to explain to you that when you send information out of space, out of time, when you send solutions like you were asked in the past weeks to send solutions to your leaders, intentions to your leaders, when you send them, you need to send them not only from your mind, but also in a figure, in a physical way. You, know, you need to write down those letters, not just to think them. And why is that? Well, it's important, so listen. When you only think about it, while it's going through your mind, there are also more thoughts that leave your body, your mind, to the dimension beyond time. But when you write it down, there are only those words that you have written. You know, you have more than one body. You have the emotional body, you have your spiritual body, you have your physical body and your mind. We ask you to use all of them together when you're sending those thoughts, those principles, those intentions, those solutions. We are asking you to join all of them together and if you don't know how, just before you start sending those thoughts, ask to synchronize all your bodies together. You see, sometimes you have a good idea for a solution that comes from your mind, but your body feels differently about it. Your emotions feel differently about that solution. So you're trying to send it from your mind because this is what we told you to do. We ask you to send the solutions to the space so that your leaders can receive it. But then your, body, your, your physical body does not send it. He's holding this thought inside. And sometimes, instead of sending this thought, they're sending something completely different because this is what your physical body feels like. And we're going to give you an example. Now, in Israel, there is a war. In your mind, you can stand a solution for peace. But in your body, you might feel there is no peace. There are still people there that haven't returned to their homes. How can we think about peace? You can even think worse than that, that you want to win the war, that you want to hit back to harm them because they harm you. You want them to be scared because they scared you. So instead of sending a thought of peace, because this is what you want in your mind, because you understand in your mind that this is the right thing to happen for the future, not just for now, but your physical body 
your emotional body it feels differently there so this this thought this solution is not going to where it should go instead you're standing contradicting messages so what we are asking you to do is to write it down and to write a sentence so that you will look at it and you will feel that all your bodies are synchronized with this message only then send it to space we combined letters together they weren't letters at the beginning they were dots they were straight lines they were round squares circles triangles all kind all kind of geometrical figures but what we meant is to put an intention in them and this is how they became letters and this is how they became words so we are asking you to do the same put the intention in your words and feel that all your bodies feel that it's true they are synchronized together with the letters that you have written the words need to be real need to be the truth so that you can send them into space and that your leaders can really understand the meaning thank you thank you thank you wow please mess send this message on share it it's an important one and i'll see you soon in the challenge bye